how to trade? Great question. I want to ask you one thing though. Do you really want to trade? That's an obvious question for me, because trading involves a huge money losing potential on preparation and expenses. You need a cargo hauler, money to buy cargo itself and so on. Also, you have a huge risk of encountering pirates that can lead to losing money or cargo and probably some brain cells by spending hours on boring straight flights across the system. Are you still sure you want to trade? If so, let's dive in. At first, you need to buy a ship. Star Citizen provides not a huge list of ships you can buy for trading right now, but there are still some options based on your balance. Are you a starter in this field and you want to earn just a couple thousand AUC? Good news for you, you can rent a small hauler on a capital planet where your starting point is. You still need some money to rent them obviously, but I can assure you that the price is not that big compared to the other options. You just need to find a renting terminal somewhere in the spaceport. Options for you are Nomad with 24 SCU of cargo space. You can buy it for almost a million AUC or for $80. Hull A with 64 SCU. You can buy it for $80-$90. Uh, it is ready, but you cannot currently buy it by using in-game money. Constellation Taurus with the 174 SU of cargo space for almost 3.5 million USC or $190 and Freelancer Max with the 120 SU for 2 million AUC or $150. Rentable ships are Constellation Andromeda with 96 SCU. You can rent it for 70,000 AUC a day on Arcorp, uh, Hurston and Crusader. A Freelancer with uh, 66 SCU. You can rent it for 34,000 AUC a day on a cargo deck. And Cutlass Black with uh, 46 SCU can cost you from 13k to 28k a day on cargo and refinery decks. And the best ships I could recommend to buy for trading are Drake Caterpillar with 576 SCU. You can buy it for almost 5 million AUC on Lorville or $330. Or Hercules Starlifter C2 with uh, 696 SCU for almost 5 million USC on Area 18 and Crusader or in a pledge for $400. You will make for about 100 to 300 USC for one SCU of cargo, so make sure to compare the ships by their speed and cargo space and make a decision what you want to rent or buy. AUEC is the main in-game currency in Star Citizen during the alpha version of the game. SCU I was talking about in the ship part is an amount of 1 SCU boxes that can be put inside the ship. It's a standard way of measuring cargo space. Trading route is a full route, or list of stops, on the way from the first point where you buy your cargo to the last point where you sell it. Trading Terminal is a console you can find on a planet or a station where you can manage, buy or sell, your ship's cargo. Profit is a difference from total money gained from a trading route to money spent on cargo. Commodity is a type of cargo you buy, for example titanium or diamond. Ok, let's talk about the tools. I have a ship, now what, you may ask? Ok. Now you need to choose a cargo and a trading route you want to do. To figure out what and where to buy, you need to answer the following questions. Where are you at? It is easier to do trading routes near your spawn planet. How much money can you spend on cargo? And how long are you able to trade? Ok, now we can try all the trading consoles one by one. That would be too long and expensive. So you can use a trading website. There are plenty of them. If you want to focus on statistics, precise data and commodities, you need to use UX Corp. The link will be in the description. 
There you can search for commodities prices, buy and selling points and possible profit with each cargo type in detail. Routes page shows a list of trading routes sorted by time, name and average traded cargo amount. Commodities page shows detailed info about each cargo type. Click on the commodity to view its info. It includes a graph of buy-sell price changes, a list of points where it is possible to buy or sell the item and prices for one single unit. If you want more casual data, you can use a C-Trade Tools website. Just go to the routes page, choose your ship, it logs the amount of cargo space, put an investment amount, how much can you spend on cargo, apply additional filters if you want and click submit. It will show you a list of routes sorted by profit. If you see yellow border around the route, like on this one, it means that it's popular and you are more likely to not have enough cargo in those places when you will go there. If there is not enough cargo, you can click Alternative Commodities that will show different cargo you can buy at those points, sorted by profit for one unit. Higher the commodity in the list, higher the profit. Just buy the available one and continue your route. To buy a commodity, you need to fly to the place you've chosen by using the tools. Then find the building with an antenna, there must be a terminal inside. There are buy and sell pages in the terminal, don't forget to select the ship. By the way, Cargo is limited. All servers together have one limit of cargo for everyone. When a player buys commodities, it subtracts the amount from the total limit. If there is not enough cargo, you are unable to buy it. Don't worry, those limits are set every 20 to 30 minutes. If you see a notification like that, it means the limits and prices were updated. Do you want to track your profits over time? You can download an app. To your Windows device that I've made. You can find it in the Discord of Code Gaming Corporation or in the description. Open an app, go to Deliveries page and fill in the cargo name and price. Click Add Cargo when you are buying one. Then fill in the buying and selling location. Add all the cargo you've bought, then go to the selling point. Fill in the selling price and click the sell button on each commodity. Now you can save your trading trip by clicking Finish Trip button. Data is saved and can be viewed in the dashboard. It's pretty easy to use and saves you a lot of time on calculations. Thank you for watching the video. You can find the full guide in Russian language in the Discord. We have English speaking channels on our server. Feel free to join and discuss the game there. All the links needed to understand the topic are listed in the description. Enjoy the verse!